talk to me, Chuck. Yesterday I was making 11 bucks an hour fixing computers. Now I have one in my brain. What happens now? I was amazed. I was amazed by the entire process. It was kind of like a, I was kidnapped by TV people. Well, Chris and I sat down in the summer of 2006. Chris started talking about a guy with a supercomputer downloaded in his brain, and I was talking about wanting to do a show about a guy having a quarter-life crisis, and out of those conversations, you know, the, the show was born. The idea for Chuck, the very origin was, is like, what if, you know, Sidney Bristow walked into the office and kidnapped Jim Halpert? <laughs> you know, and so it was a fusion of TV show ideas. Let's find us a virus, shall we? Yeah, it's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, it's also super nerdy. <laughs> Someone coded the name into the Telex script. Little inside joke for anyone running viral countermeasures. For me, just having done the OC for four years, I was looking to do something totally different. Everyone liked the combination of comedy and action, and it was something new, something that wasn't on television at the time. It just seemed so big and ambitious. So, right up my alley. I mean, I was unemployed for a little while, so I mean, there was, <laughs> there was a lot of plus side to having a job, even one that was temporary, at least, you know, for the time. I honestly didn't, I probably <laughs> didn't give it too much of a chance because I thought it was kind of really cool and different and unique, and that just didn't seem like the kind of stuff that was being put on television, you know? Mm -hmm. 